lecture i'm going to discuss what how to perform auto generate insert a statement for a table in microsoft sql server so this is now sss ssms sql server management studio so first here you need to right click on this or database let's say here adam right click there and after that go to task and at this place click on this generate a script now after that click on this next and here you can see or select entire database all those things you need to check this radio box after that click on this plus then after click here on this table as called dot dpt or uh, so you can select multiple tables but here i'm selecting one click on this next and after that click on this advance so here you can see type of data to a script by default it's a schema only you can select data only schema and data so if you select here data then you can only perform here you can only only get insert statement but if you get here schema there you can get here create table insert and store procedure things so i am selecting here data only so here this is now if you take the cursor this is blue highlighted here you can see generated a script that contain a schema only or a schema and data so only data that's fine click on okay so this that i'm going to save on the desktop give here meaningful file name let's say file name is now my table okay and this is now format is dot x square click on this save then click on this next next so this is now all succeeded click on this finish this turn here after that my table that's created click on there after here you can see so since uh, the table has only four rows so it's selected for wanna check here dpt that selected so to select top 1000 so four rows is there so that it's so uh, or taken insert a statement automatically created here four now there after let's copy this and pasting there so if table has so uh, primary key and primary key relationship primary key is there so we cannot insert duplicate let's enter here you can see primary key has in this tables so we we cannot enter duplicate so let's give you unique name 50 60 70 80 after that if you want this here that change dpt number so dpt number has primary key so that we cannot insert duplicate values 10 20 30 now if i run this query then you can see here four rows that inserted so only few second times this inserted four rows after that wanna check the records so let's see here select a start from as got dot dpt dpt is there so now you can see 50 60 70 that's and or uh, changed now if you want to do some changing here on dname you can easily do that or uh, this process okay so this is the most fastest way to perform insert operation using microsoft sql server so this is the most fastest way we can auto generated insert a statement for our table in my sql so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you